The Jack Benny Program, presented by Lucky Strike. Feeling low. Feeling tense. These eight words are common sense. Smoke a lucky. To be your level best. Smoke a lucky. To be your level best. Yes, to feel your level best. Smoke a lucky, because Lucky's fine tobacco picks you up when you're low, calms you down when you're tense. Put you on the right level to feel and do your level best. That's what fine tobacco can do for you. And remember, LSMFT, LSMFT, Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. So the next time you buy cigarettes, be sure to ask for the cigarette of fine tobacco, Lucky Strike. For remember, Lucky's fine tobacco picks you up when you're low, calms you down when you're tense. Put you on the right level to feel and do your level best. Yes, smoke a Lucky to feel your level best. The Lucky Strike program starring Jack Benny with Mary Livingston, Phil Harris, Rochester, Dennis Day, the Sportsman Quartet, and yours truly, Don Wilson. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Easter Sunday, and in cities all over the country, people are Easter parading. Right now in Beverly Hills, Jack is getting ready for his stroll down Wilshire Boulevard. At the moment, he's uh, taking a shower, and Rochester is laying out his clothes. Mm, Mr. Benny's been in that shower for a long time. It's funny the way the boss always puts on a bathing cap to keep his hair dry. <laughs> Once it didn't work. He put on the bathing cap and then put his hair on top of it. <laughs> oh, he looked like a cantaloupe with sideburns. <laughs> well, I, I better get his clothes out. Say, here's a suit he wore home from New York. I haven't sent it to the cleaners yet. I'll take it and... Uh-oh. What's this book that fell out of his pocket? Well, it's Mr. Benny's diary. I wonder if I should read it. No, I better not. He sure got mad the last time I read it. Anyway, if Mr. Benny wanted me to know what he did in New York, he'd tell me. But he's been home over a week and he ain't told me, so here goes. Ah, <laughs> uh, here's the first entry. April 4th, dear diary. The flight to New York was exciting. Traveling by airplane is very pleasant, except they give the passengers free food, magazines, and chewing gum. I couldn't sell a darn thing. <laughs> I wonder what he did with that gallon of coffee and four dozen sandwiches he took with him. I arrived in New York this morning, cheerful but bloated. <laughs> I guess he didn't eat all his sandwiches. The next entry is written in peanut butter. <laughs> April 5th, dear diary. This morning I was walking down Broadway and ran into Fred Allen. And I must say that Fred looks wonderful. He had all the wrinkles taken out of his face and luckily they didn't have to use surgery. Fred's face has so, so much loose skin. They just pulled his ears back and tied them in a bow. <laughs> his hat off, he looked like an Easter bunny. <laughs> mm, Mr. Benny's diary sure is dull. Two days in New York and he ain't been to Harlem yet. April 6th, dear diary. Last night I attended a dinner party at the home of Mr. William Paley. He's the head of CBS. I sat on the right of his lovely wife, Barbara. Mrs. Paley is certainly a charming woman. I wonder what network he got her from. <laughs> April 7th. Talk to my sponsor today. Well, now it's getting interesting. April 8th. Talk to my sponsor today. April 9th. Talk to my sponsor today. April 10th. Talk to my sponsor today. April 11th. Talk to my lawyer today. <laughs> April 12th, 
My lawyer talked to my sponsor today. <laughs> April 13th, my lawyer will be my summer replacement. <laughs> April 14th. Started for home on the Santa Fe Super Chief. The Super Chief is a wonderful train, but I think I enjoyed the plane trip more. The hostess had prettier legs than the conductor. <laughs> well, I'll be darned. No mention of Harlem at all. If he didn't go to Harlem, why did he bother? Oh, to... Rochester! Rochester! Uh oh, here he comes. I better hide the diary. Rochester, what are you doing? I was looking through this suit to see if it needed to be sent to the cleaners. Oh, well, while I finish dressing, look through the closet and see if there's anything else that needs cleaning. Yes, sir. Uh, what about this gray suit, boss? I don't know. How does it look to you? Well, it's got a gravy stain on the sleeve, salad dressing on the pants, butter on the cuff, coffee on the lapel, and meat sauce all over the vest. It has? Yeah, shall I send it to the cleaner or put it in the refrigerator? <laughs> uh, send it to the cleaner. But first, uh, Rochester, go through the pockets and make sure I didn't leave any money in it. Oh, boss, come now! <laughs> Never mind, just do it. Well, I'm all dressed, Rochester. How do I look? Fine, but you better put your glasses on. Oh, I'm not going to wear my glasses. They, they make me look old. But you don't see too well without them. Rochester, I only need my glasses for reading. Now, let's see. I think I'll take a cop, uh, top coat with me in case I... I'll get it. Oh, hello, Phil. I'm Mary. <laughs> oh, 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 happy Easter, Mary. Well, I'm ready to go walking if you are. I'm ready, Jack. But aren't you going to say anything about my new dress? Let's see. Say, it's very pretty. But, Mary, isn't it kind of daring? Well, no, this is the latest style. It's called a plunging neckline. Well, you better grab it fast, sister. It's getting away from you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't be silly, Jack. Plunging necklines are the latest style. All the girls will be wearing them today. They will? Yes. Oh, Rochester, bring me my glasses. <laughs> Thanks. Now, come on, Mary, let's go to the boulevard and stroll in the Easter parade. <laughs> Gee, there are a lot of people on Wilshire Boulevard, aren't there, Mary? Yeah, and everybody's dressed so nice. Well, so are you. Gee, that new hat you're wearing is really cute. Where'd you get it? The May Company. They give me all my clothes. The May Company gives you all your clothes? See, that's funny. You've been working for me for the past 15 years. I know. They send me food, too. <laughs> oh, well, that's nice of them. Say, <laughs> Jack. What? How far do you think we ought to walk? Oh, I don't know. Probably as far as La Brea, and then we'll... Jack, look who's coming this way. Isn't that one of the boys in your Beavers Club? Oh, yes. Hello, Joey. Hello, Mr. Benny. Hello, Miss Livingston. Hello, Joey. Say, that's a mighty cute rabbit you have there. Yeah, it's my Easter bunny. I'm taking him over to Mr. Benny's house to feed him. To my house to feed him? Why? My father says you got more lettuce than anyone in Beverly Hills. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Did you just get this rabbit, Joey? Oh, no. I got him last Easter. In fact, I had two of them. Come on, Mary, let's go. <laughs> in, in a minute, Jack. Uh, what happened to your other rabbit, Joey? I don't know. He just disappeared around Christmas time. Mary, let's go. <laughs> uh, Joey, exactly when did your other rabbit disappear? It was December 23rd. Well, thanks for telling me. Goodbye, Joey. Goodbye, Miss Livingston. Goodbye, Mr. Benny. Goodbye, goodbye. <laughs> you know, Mary... Oh, I... quiet. You and your mink Christmas presents. <laughs> that was just a coincidence. I happened to get a mink with pink eyes, that's all. <laughs> you know, Mary... 
But strolling along the boulevard today reminds me of that picture we saw with Fred Astaire and Judy Garland. You mean Easter Parade? Yeah, that's the one. Remember at the start of the picture when Fred Astaire was walking along Fifth Avenue singing that song and the people all answered him? How did that song go again? Oh, yes, I remember it now. Never saw such a lovely day. Happy Easter. Happy Easter! It's such fun just to nod and say Happy Easter. Happy Easter! My, oh, me, there's so much to see as you stroll the avenue. And you greet all the friends you meet. Happy Easter to you. Isn't that nice, Mary? They all answered us just like in the picture. Gee, I'll never forget how... Hey, Mary. Hey, Mary, look. Look. Huh? Look, stepping up on the curb. Get a load of those legs. Oh, who is it? The conductor on the super cheap. <laughs> Now, come on, Mary. we got to keep up with the crowd, you know. I want to walk all the way down to La Brea. Say, Jack, look. There's Phil Harris standing on the corner. Oh, yes. Hello, Phil. Hi, you Livy, you little Easter bunny. Who's that egg you got with you? <laughs> Donna, I forgot to take off my bathing cap. <laughs> <laughs> Say, Phil, Mary and I are strolling down Wilshire. Want to join us? No, no, Jackson. The Chamber of Commerce wants me to stand here till another bus comes by. Another bus? Yeah, I'm the grand finale of the 95-cent tour. <laughs> What? Them out-of-towners go nuts. <laughs> oh, brother. Uh, Phil, uh, Phil, aren't you a little conceited? Nah, conceit is when you think you got it and you ain't. <laughs> and, uh, and of course, Phil... You've got it. Sixteen silver dollars in a box of Snickers to that gray-haired gentleman with a button shoe. <laughs> Mary, Mary, you talk to him. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Phil, Jack and I are going for a walk. Do you want to join us or not? Oh, I'd love to, Liv, but when I finish here, I gotta go home and take my uncle to the train. I didn't know you had an uncle here. Yeah, he arrived Tuesday on business. Came out here for the eclipse. <laughs> oh, is he, uh... Is he an astronomer? No, a pickpocket. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, Jackson, when will you learn to still those quivering lips? <laughs> Come on, Mary, let's go. <laughs> All right. So long, Phil. So long, Libby, you dove. See you later. Come on, Mary. Hey, uh, Jackson. What? Don't feel bad. You've got the bluest eyes on Wiltshire Boulevard. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so long, Phil. Come on, Mary. You know, Mary, Phil kids a lot, but underneath it all, he's really a nice guy. Oh, stop fluttering your eyelashes. <laughs> Jealous. Now, come on, dollface. We got a long way to walk yet. Walking with you side by side. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Fills my chest with so much pride. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. My, oh, me, there's so much to see as you stroll the avenue. And you, you greet all, all the friends you meet. Happy Easter to you. Jack, get up. You're not as young as Fred Astaire. I know, he's 38. <laughs> Come on, Mary. Gosh, what perfect weather. Spring, the skies are clear, the flowers are blooming, the sun is shining. Well, look who's here. Bonjour, Monsieur Benny. Well, Professor LeBlanc, what a surprise running into you. Hello, Professor. Bonjour, Mademoiselle. <laughs> Professor, you certainly look nice today. Is that a new Easter suit you're wearing? Mademoiselle. I am a poor violin teacher. I cannot afford to buy new suits. Well, what do you do with the money I pay you for my violin lessons? I buy sleeping pills. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are they, are they any good? No. After a few days, I wake up. <laughs> well, it was nice seeing you, Professor, and don't forget... 
You're giving me a violin lesson next week. I will not forget. I will tie a string around my finger. Good, good. Better I should tie a rope around my neck. <laughs> what? Goodbye, Monsieur Benny. Goodbye. <laughs> Mary, I can't understand why he hates to give me violin lessons. I can't understand it either. You play beautifully. Well, I... Huh? <laughs> See, Mary, that was sweet. What made you say that? Oh, I don't know. Just an impulse. Yesterday, I kicked a cop in the pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, sometimes you have to let yourself go, you know. Anyway, Mary, we're certainly running into a lot of people we know, aren't we? Yeah. Dum da dum bum ba bum ba bum Happy Easter. Happy Easter. The um ba bum bum you doll face. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. My oh me, there's so much to see as you stroll the avenue, and you greet all the friends you meet. Happy Easter to you. Say gaiches. What is it, Mabel? <laughs> Should I feel so elegant walking in the Easter parade. How do you feel? My feet are killing me. But it's my own fault for buying such small shoes. Well, what size did you get? Nine. Oh, for heaven's sakes. What's the matter? Getting your foot into a size nine shoe is like docking the Queen Mary in a Dixie cup. <laughs> well, look who's talking. Get a load of your shoes. They're not so big. They're not. Last year, when we went on our vacation, every hotel we stopped at pasted labels on them. <laughs> well, it's a natural mistake because my shoes are genuine cowhide. Cowhide? Yeah. From the way your toes stick out, it looks like milk and time. <laughs> Gertrude, the next time you talk to me like hey, that, Mabel, I'll... Mabel, look, look. Here comes Jack Benny. Oh, yeah. And look who's with her, Mary Livingston. She didn't have to put on airs with me. I remember when she and I worked at the May Company. Uh, did you used to run into her? Very seldom I was a night watchman. <laughs> look, Mabel, they're coming toward us. Ba bum bum ba bum ba bum happy Easter. Happy Easter. Liam ba bum bum ba bum ba bum happy Easter. Happy Easter. My, oh, me, there's so much to see as you stroll the avenue. Meet all the friends you meet. Happy Easter to you. <laughs> well, Don, Don Wilson. <laughs> hello, Don. <laughs> well, hello, Barry. Oh, hello, Jack. I haven't seen you since uh, you got back from New York. How was your trip? Oh, wonderful, Don, and you'll be happy to know how popular you are. Everybody I ran into was asking about you. Oh, really, Jack? Or what they want to know? Well, they want to know different things like uh, what you eat for breakfast, what you eat for lunch, what you eat for dinner, what you have for dessert, what you have after dessert, what you eat between meals, what you eat before going to bed at night. All those different things. <laughs> well, that's nice, Jack, but uh, didn't they want to know anything about me on your program? Let's see. Yes, yes, they did, Don. They thought that my last couple of programs weren't quite as funny as usual. They want to know if you ate one of my writers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jack, I know you're kidding, but I wish you'd stop with that talk. It, it gives everybody the impression I'm fat. All right, Don, I'll stop joking about your size. Say, Don, would you like to walk down Wiltshire Boulevard with us? Oh, I'd love to, Murray, but I'm on the other side of the street. <laughs> Oh, yes, yeah. Lift your stomach, Don. Here comes a bus. <laughs> well, anyway, I'll see you later. Come on, Mary. Say, Mary, have you got a cigarette? Oh, sure, Jack. I have some right here in my... Oh, gee, I forgot to put them in this purse. Well, there's a drugstore right here on the corner. I'll step in and get some. A feeling low, a feeling tense. Uh, these eight uh, words that make a common sense. Uh, smell a lucky. Smell. Oh, oh, mister, 
Mr. <laughs> Mr., I'd like to buy some... Magazines? No. Sunglasses? No, no. I'd like to buy some... Lifesavers? No, no. But as long as you're guessing and want to play games, I'll give you a hint. Now, what do you do to feel your level best? I loosen my girdle. What do you do? <laughs> Well, if you must know, I smoke a Lucky. Well, why didn't you say so? You want a package of Lucky Strike. That's exactly what I want. Here you are. Thank you. Here's your money. Goodbye. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. (laughs) Jack, did you get your cigarettes? Yes, yes. Come on, Mary. Let's keep on walking. Never saw such a lovely day. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. It's such fun just to nod and say Happy Easter. Happy Easter. My, oh me, there's so much to see as you stroll the avenue. And you greet all the friends you meet. Happy Easter to you. (laughs) Well, Mr. (laughs) Pitcher. Kissel, it's nice running into you today. Oh, thank you, Mr. Benny. And and how are you, Miss Livingston? Oh, I'm fine, thank you. Mr. Kissel, you certainly look nice in those striped pants, cutaway coat, and top hat. Mm-hmm. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir, it's just right for Easter. Oh, thank you. But I'm also wearing it for sentimental reasons. This is the suit in what I got married. Really? Yeah, I'll never forget the ceremony. It was beautiful. When the preacher asked for the ring, my wife handed it to him, and then... Wait a minute. How come your wife had the ring? We weren't even married, and she went through my pockets already. (laughs) Oh, oh, I see. Well, Mr. Kissel, it was a pleasure running into you on Easter, but we've got to be moving along. Well, I got to run along, too. This afternoon, I'm having an egg roll. An egg roll on your front lawn? No, in a Chinese restaurant. (laughs) (laughs) Goodbye. You know, Mary, it's always nice running into Mr. Kitzel. I don't know, he always seems so cheerful. Hey, Bud. (laughs) Bud. Huh? Come here a minute. (laughs) Me? Yeah. Excuse me, Mary. Yes? What are you doing? We're just strolling along in the Easter parade. How far you going? Uh, to La Brea. That's fine. What? You said you were going to La Brea, and I said that's fine. Wait a minute. Aren't you going to try to talk me out of it? Not me. This is my day off. Well, happy Easter. Same to you. Same to you. <laughs> well, come on, Mary. What happened? Nothing. It's all right. We can go to La Brea. <laughs> come on. Never saw such a lovely day. Happy Easter. It's such fun just to nod and say happy Easter. And you greet all the friends you meet. Happy Easter to you. Dana! Hello, Dana. Hello, Mary. Well, Dana, gee, it's good to see you. Did you have a nice Easter? Oh, sure. I colored Easter eggs all morning, and then I hid them. Uh Uh-huh. And then I told my mother to go look for them. (laughs) That must have been fun. No, it was a mess. The eggs splattered all over the walls, the ceiling, and my mother's new dress. But, Dennis, where'd you hide the eggs? In the Mixmaster. In the Mixmaster? Yeah, it was awful. But, Dennis, colored eggs shouldn't splatter. How long did you boil them? Oh, boil them! (laughs) Mary, you take them, will you? Dennis, Jack and 
I are walking down as far as La Brea. Would you like to join us? Oh, sure. I'm not stuck up. Well, that's nice of you. That's sweet of you, kid. Come on, kid. Could you walk a little faster, Mr. Benny? I got to get home and take my uncle to the train. Sure, we can... <laughs> Your uncle? Yeah, he's here on business. He came Tuesday for the eclipse. Uh, well, uh, Dennis, is he... Mary, Mary, let me take this one. Uh, what did you say your uncle came here for, Dennis? He came here for the eclipse. He came for the eclipse, eh? I know, Dennis, he's a pickpocket. No, he's a photographer and he hasn't got a dark room. <laughs> What? Happy Easter. All right, all right. <laughs> Let's walk on. Say, Dennis, while we're walking along, why don't you sing something? Well, gee, do you think it'd be all right uh, right here on the street? Well, sure. Everybody feels good today. They're all singing. Yeah, they all want you to okay. sing, too. Okay. <laughs> lady in the Photographers will snap us, and you'll find that you're in the rotor gravure. Oh, I could write a sonnet about your Easter bonnet and of the girl I'm taking to the Easter parade on the avenue. Avenue. The photographers will snap us, and you'll find that you're in the road of review. Oh, I could write a sonnet about your Easter bonnet and of the girl I'm taking to the. Feeling low, feeling tense. These eight words are common sense. Smoke a lucky to be your level best. Smoke a lucky to be your level best. You see, Lucky's fine tobacco picks you up when you're low, calms you down when you're tense, puts you on the right level to feel and do your level best. That's why it's so important for you to select and smoke the cigarette of fine tobacco, Lucky Strike. For as every smoker knows, L-S-M-F-T, L-S-M-F-T, Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. It's not surprising that Luckies are the overwhelming choice of the tobacco experts, men who can see the makers of Lucky Strike consistently select and buy that fine, that light, that naturally mild tobacco. Yes, Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. And this fine Lucky Strike tobacco picks you up when you're low, calms you down when you're tense. Put you on the right level, the lucky level, where you feel your best and do your best. So the next time you buy cigarettes, ask for a carton of Lucky Strike. Smoke a lucky to be your level best. Smoke a lucky to be your level best. Happy Easter, everybody. Don't forget to hear Dennis Day and a day in the life of Dennis Day. Stay tuned for the Amos and Andy show, which follows immediately. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.